Some massive breaking transfer news. Andre Onana has joined Manchester United for immediate reaction. Adam McCola. Oh my God. We've got a new goalkeeper. Obviously, we've not really spoken about it on this channel. I was um, sad in the way David De Gea departed the club. I thought he deserved a little bit of a better send off. Uh, hopefully, he comes back for his testimonial. And I think there's been a bit too much disrespect thrown at him. But the time was right to move on. I think we needed that ruthlessness to be displayed by Eric Ten Hag, even if we would have liked to have said goodbye to him um, and for us to move on, especially when you look at, you know, the Man City game in the cup final, you know, Gundogan rolls one past him. You know, you look at some of the performances, I think it was West Ham in the Europa League as well. Um, they weren't great and he was costing us at big moments and we'd gone from saying, oh yeah, he just can't play out from the back, but everything else he does well to not only are you not playing out well from the back, but you're also not doing what you used to be great at, which was sad to see. So he's moved on now. We needed a new goalkeeper. Obviously, Andre Anana. You look at the deal, £40 million, £45 million, you know, give or take um, a few million here and there. And it's a great deal, I think. Obviously, you could have got him on a free, I think, a year ago, but mm. there was a lot of question marks surrounding him, maybe, you know, in terms of off the pitch and stuff. Um, but... He's joining Manchester United now after a very good season at Inter Milan. He was incredible for them throughout the Champions League campaign, which is mainly where I've seen him play for them. Um, but also, I think, his relationship with Ten Hag, you know, at Ajax, he knows the style of football he wants to play. He played with Sandro Martinez in front of him, so that'll be a, a good benefit as well. And I think it could completely revolutionise the way we play football. But United fans have to be ready to take a few bits of banter on the chin when he makes a mistake because mm. I think he will make mistakes you've seen it with you know your goalkeeper Edison Allison. Um but yeah I think it's a sign and a step in the right direction from Manchester United yeah it certainly is I saw him obviously very recently in the Champions League final um, he is going to make he was incredible nervous. that day as well I don't know if he was incredible he was good no he was really good that day for me in terms of beating City's press passing the ball through the lines like, yeah, there was I a couple was really of moments good. I thought oh, I think he I think Edison is definitely a player that obviously is very similar in terms of distribution but then he always executes I don't think I can't think of a mistake he's actually made I think Onana will have to settle in quick mm. I think the pressure especially at Old Trafford if you make a mistake early in your career that could derail everything mm. so I'm not saying he will do that I think he's a fantastic keeper he's probably a borderline world class keeper in terms of the level he's probably top five in the world um, and you've needed it for years I think it's been stale in that department I think people People talk about Dean Henderson maybe coming in and, and changing things and he maybe he's not quite the level that you need. So Onana's going to change things up for Man United. Mm. Ultimately, you're a club that needs to be winning the Champions League, winning the Premier League. You've not done it for over 10 years in terms of one of those major trophies. And Onana is the... Look at look at Alisson going to Liverpool, Edison going to Man City. You know, you need these big keepers to start the transition to winning things again. Yeah, and you need them to, to hit the ground running almost as well. Like you say, look, like, you're not wrong if you make a big mistake at Old Trafford early on. Who knows what it does to your confidence and you as a player. I think you'll be granted the allowance of a few mistakes. Well, De Gea had that. He had about a year where he was gonna, a bit, you know. Tenard's going to come in and he's going to yeah. want him to kind of build up with that progression of play. Um, you know, he's going to be able to get a little bit of a pre-season with us, which is good as well. Um, I just think it's a very good signing. But like you say, the United fans, it's me included, I think there's going to be games where we're going, oh, Jesus, I wish you'd just boot it out for a throw-in like David De Gea did. You know, there's going to be those mm -hmm. moments where you're sitting on the edge of your seat or you, you you got a little bit of squeaky bum time because he is doing those things. But eventually it'll take us. And, like, I think on the face of it, it's a great signing. But if he doesn't perform, it's not. Obviously, it could be a huge one in terms of you get that striker signing right. And if you get the goalkeeper signing right, United are going to be a different team. We've mm -hmm. seen what... Those two key positions can do to teams. Um, and yeah, if this is the right signing, oh boy. Well, I, I think it's also a factor that we don't talk about enough is Ten Hag, as much as I don't want to say as a City fan, I think he's brought a bit of the the fear factor from Man United back a little bit. You've won the League <clears throat> Cup, which is a trophy, which is important for me. And you, there were points last season where you were much, much better. So I think the fact that it's not just a, it's not just a keeper, it's the fact that he's Ten Hag's man. He's playing in Ten Hag's way. It says a lot about that he's a keeper that kind of fits the bill in that in that respect as well. I think it takes you on to a level where you've got to be aiming to win the Premier League with an honour mm. at the base of your defence. Not too much money as well. You know, like with a goalkeeper where if you spend £100 million, I'm going to make a mistake. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Kepa. Like, you know, and I think just £40 million just keeps it 
under the radar a little bit. It's not huge price. Um, I, I'm I'm liking this signing. I like him as well. I've seen some some clips of him since I've obviously since we've been we've been linked with him and stuff. And like there was a clip where he was asked about whether he fears Haaland and stuff like that. And he was like, I think Haaland's a great player. I don't fear anyone but God and it's like I love stupid stuff like that you know like stupid little yeah. things I just love it like a bit of a character uh, yeah it's just a bit of a character he's got faith in his own ability he's got faith in himself um, and yeah I think can't wait to see him at Old Trafford but we have to get ready because it's going to be a roller coaster ride with this guy go trust me it's going to be a roller coaster ride uh, <laughs> with this guy and I wouldn't be surprised if he does if he does make a high profile mistake in the first month or two but that, have to that, that worries it. me I've, I think you've only got a few in your locker a few in your whole career someone at a, 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 a club like Man United it depends if, if you've got the manager that's encouraging you to play and stuff I'm not saying he's going to mass him old Taibi it. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a few moments where his pass is a bit of a, a stray or you know just a little something because he's going to have to take time to get used to his teammate I don't want to bring where, the mood down where does but... Bruno Fernandes want the ball where yeah. does where does this guy want? I don't want to bring the mood down, but I, that's what I'd concern. That would walk. I saw his pass in first hand, and it looks good. But there are moments where you just think, oh, it's too close for comfort. It's a little bit too. But that's that's the maybe I'm used because Edison's the best in the world. He might be the best keeper of all time at that kind of distribution out from the back. So Edison's better. Than, better was better definitely. Than what Edison? Yeah. Edison. Yeah, no, Edison's Edison was distribution's better. Than, better. Edison no, Edison's distributions. It's like it's like a. It's unbelievable. Um, I think Onana, oh, it's tough. It's real tough. I, I just hope that Ten Hag's easy on him and says, if you need to boot it in the first few weeks, just boot it. Yeah. You don't want him to make those mistakes. No, you have to allow common sense to come into play, doesn't it? It has to be a common sense approach. If there's going to be times where you need to slap it out. Slap it out. What's the kind of makeup then for the squad in terms of Dean Henderson? and? I think Dean Henderson's gone now. Gone? Like He's just been hanging around until we get this deal done. Yeah. That'll be him off. Who's the second choice? Um... Tom Heaton. Tom Heaton. Like, Decent quality. All right. It's all right. Stop that. I mean, you, you don't expect them to play more than five games a season, do you, really? No. Unless, I, like, you've had a bad time with injury or suspension. No, but you do want you do want competition in those. I think I think yeah. David De Gea's big issue was that he never, I don't think he ever felt pressured. I think he knew he was going to be the keeper at Man United for as long as he needed to after winning the league in 2013. And I think, look at City. I mean, we had Ortega in goal for the final. And he's, he's a real keeper that could push Edison. Mm. I think you need a couple of keepers that are pushing each other. So that might be the only issue for, for, for Ten Hag is that Onana comes in and there's no, there's no, you know, Tommy Eaton, with all due respect. I think it's a good signing though. Don't try and down. Don't try rain on my parade booby. It's not happening. He's a good I'm signing to make you top five next season. Fantastic signing. Um, <laughs> and hopefully um, it brings us forward and revolutionises the way we play because we need it we need it and we've had far too long of a goalkeeper just smashing things out for throw-ins so yeah yep. welcome to the biggest club in the world Andre and I <laughs>